Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Ray. They call me the Ray of Light and it's because I shed light on this amazing future that we have in front of us. Um, today, today I want to talk about what is Bitcoin, right? It's the most popular uh, cryptocurrency out there. I'm sure you heard of it if you're looking into this space. Um, but Bitcoin was created in 2009 by Satoshi Nakamoto it, to be a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, right? Um, really no one knows who uh, Satoshi Nakamoto is, uh, or even if it's a group, right? So at that, the, the actual origins of, of Bitcoin, still a mystery. So that's kind of very cool uh, about the Bitcoin blockchain, right? Today, many people use Bitcoin as a store value, kind of like what, what people did with, with gold or silver or something like that. But, um, you know, how does Bitcoin work, right? Bitcoin is built on a blockchain and therefore is decentralized, immutable, and open. It's also hard capped. There will only ever be 21 million Bitcoin ever created. There's, you, can't, you can't make any more. You can't um, counterfeit it. There's a, 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 like I said, amazing technology within the blockchain itself is that you can't double spend it. There's, like I said, there's a lot of cool things, a lot of cool features that you can't get in the fiat world. Uh, single purpose, it has a single purpose. Many holders just want it to be a token that stores value, right? Why wouldn't you want something where you could go put whatever fiat, anything, and it always holds it val its value. Not only holds it, it increases. So another one, it's, it's pretty cool about how kind of Bitcoin was built, very focused, Right. But people can obviously split off and do different things with Bitcoin. But the main focus is a store value. Right. So Bitcoin is arguably the most secure and decentralized of all cryptocurrencies. However, it can only support three to seven transactions per second. This is good enough for its primary use case of storing value. But projects like Stacks and Lightning are working to let Bitcoin uh, do more things. You can read more about Bitcoin. Uh, it might be a good store of value for you. Uh, this isn't financial advice, but uh, you know, like like all like we say all the time, is, is do your own research. You can look all over the internet for information about Bitcoin, but it's up to you to kind of make your own decision if that's what you want to make Bitcoin is a store of value for yourself, right? So the history of Bitcoin, a little backstory. Uh, in 2008, we talked about it, Satoshi Nakamoto, it's a pseudonym, like I said, no one knows who that is. He published a white paper that outlined a plan for a new electronic cash system that's fully peer-to-peer -peer with no trusted third party. That's the real beauty of, that, of, of, of what Bitcoin is. 2009, the first Bitcoin was mine, all right? 2010, a programmer named Laszlo Hanyix, and I'm don't know if I mess up his last name, apologies. Uh, but Laszlo Hanyix makes the first Bitcoin transaction, buying two Papa John's pizzas for ten thousand Bitcoin, and at today's value, that's around maybe a little over three hundred million dollars for two pizzas. Right? We talk about in our group. Imagine if there was an NFT for that transaction. Pretty cool. Uh, 2013, Bitcoin experiences several controversies, including the, co the collapse of Mt. Gox exchange and the seizure of 26,000 Bitcoins uh, from Silk Road, a black market exchange for, for, for Bitcoin. Uh, a little quick point I do want to uh, mention about Mt. Gox, how they say Bitcoin was hacked. The blockchain was not hacked. A centralized exchange that had everybody's passwords and seed phrases that's what was hacked, right? That's just like you getting on my computer. The blockchain uh, for Bitcoin was not hacked, right? Just a little caveat there. 2017, Bitcoin Cash is created as a fork of Bitcoin with larger block size to enable faster peer-to-peer -peer transactions. That's why you see a couple of different Bitcoins out there. 2021, big shout out to El Salvador. El Salvador becomes the first country to, uh, to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender, right? Very cool, like you're starting to see, mass adoption is happening, and um, you know it's only gonna continue to happen because 
this old fiat system, it, it's not going to sustain. Things are going to start moving into this digital type currency. And, um, you know, I think we'll see a hybrid of it. But let's cover uh, next. We're going to go over the second most popular cryptocurrency, and it's called Ethereum, right? Ethereum, real quick, is, is also something where everybody builds on. It's the digital real estate of this, of this new system that you're starting to see being built. So next one, we're going to talk about Ethereum. Thank you for watching. Check us out. Um, like, subscribe, and share this video. Take care. Bye.